Good morning, people. Anthony for Before Adventures. We're in Cobor State Forest. We're already into the tracks. Nice and rough soon as you turn in. And any action will be sure to share the entertainment. And like usual, trying to offer some driving advice. There could be a lot of trees down. This place doesn't really get a lot of maintenance. So we're, it already looks like a tree down up there. So sometimes there's a chicken track around or it has been cleaned up, so we always usually go a bit closer to it before we decide to, you know, sometimes turn around or whether we're gonna cut a tree or not. Let's see what happens. Not a good start. <laughs> and there it is, the 12 inch Ryobi made light work of it. Probably could have uh, cleared the rest of those branches off. <laughs> Just slowly cruising down this one on Google Maps for you. It's called Alcorns. Beware of Alcorns. Down the bottom part coming in off Ridge Road from the start is the quite very difficult where you could you know damage your vehicle and you need lockers and you might need a winch and things like that you know this one here it's like most of the tracks in Cobor it's a bit eroded you can see we've got a bit of a river running down the left side there we're trying to dodge for the most part we're just hoping there's not too many trees down okay so this is part of Alcorn's like I said track on the map and there's a washout just down here we could have they've got a chicken track that's no good either that's washed out but we could have um, navigated this but up the other side there's way too many challenging sections so we're going to turn around and check another track for today so yeah we turned around we'll find something for today you know we're going to spend about half a day we don't mind challenging sections but we want to drive mainly if we have to put the winch out once or twice is not too bad for a little bit of help but we would have spent half a day going up that track to cover about 300 meters the amount of obstacles there and uh it's not the day for it, but if somebody wants some really hard tracks, give me a shout and I'll let you know where they are. Coming down there by the feel of it, Mitch was out there with the uh, camera. A little bit of a massage on that side step, and that's why so heavy duty side steps is one of the next things that'll be coming if we're going to do these little bit harder tracks. We've just got through that bit of a technical section with a few washouts. I'll just uh, get out and go and uh, have a look, see what's going on back there. Luckily for us, looks like the track's fairly clear at the moment as far as trees go. Happy days.
Look what we got here, flat tire. Oh, we didn't catch the, uh, pop the bead off the tire here on this uh, bit of a technical track. Yeah. Let's see what happens here. A bit of dirt in there to blow out to get it to seal properly anyway. Right, so we've got the pack off road jack base. We're going to jack it up a little bit and get this compressor fired up because you've got to deal with what you've got here and uh, off road jack base and jacking up, probably a good option. We might need to push or pull the tire around a little bit. We haven't got a can of hairspray handy, but you know what? Next time you come out on the tracks, do me a favor, bring a can of hairspray because we might need it. And anybody got a light, woof, I like that idea actually, much easier. Here we go, back in business. We've got air in the tyre. Happy days. What do we got down here? Yeah, you could straddle the washout. You could go right side. I think I'll go left side for now without hitting on that tree there. Let me just have a look at the. Oh, yeah, we're on the edge, but it's dry, so we'll be okay. We'll get down here a bit. Yeah, this is all right. We'll miss most of all that. We'll tip it up a little bit here. Do a bit of gardening. Yeah, that yeah, I reckon you hear, I mean, we like cut some harder track. So here, what do you reckon, Mitch? We can either cross over it and go down that side, or we can just straddle this washout. What do you reckon? I'm not, I'm asking you from here. We're not getting no, out. I want to get footage. Oh, you want to get out? Okay. Oh, Mitch is off to record the other vehicle. While I cross this, I've decided I'm going to cross it. Because that'll flex up that rear true track. And that's what I'm trying to do here. And a lot of these really suss it out and get to the bottom of when it's going to work, when it's not and who it's suitable for. So stay tuned. He's going the action side of the track. Get up there a bit closer, eh? Nice. Each practice his uh, camera work. He'll be the next cameraman and the next driver. <laughs> Have a look at these washouts uh, all the way. All the way up the track. So we're headed up Smith's track. We're headed, uh, what are we headed? West. Right, so a bit of a washout here. It's not too bad a track. You just got to pick your line a bit. So don't get me wrong. If you're inexperienced, you'll go, holy cow, Batman, how are we meant to get through here type thing? But Smith's track's traditionally been easy, but it's got worse. And um, like a lot of the tracks, I'm going to make a decision for this intersection. We've got a few options. A fair washout in front of us. I'm undecided, left, right, or straddle it. Right. I reckon I'm going to straddle it. No, because if we go on the right, there's not much room, and then we've got a big drop off. If we go left, we're sliding into it. Now, I can't remember what was underneath my left front wheel. We're about to find out, but oh yeah, we're going to slip in at this side, are we? That'd be not cool because I want to stay out for now. 
Oh, that's a big rock step too. I might just get out and have a look, eh? That's a good option. That's pretty much what I had in mind.